kind of touching on the, the sightings of the big birds, um, we get into even more controversial areas when we start talking about um, people who claim to have seen the closest thing you could imagine to like a pterodactyl. Um, now pterodactyls became extinct tens and tens of millions of years ago, um, right around the same time as the dinosaurs. They're essentially flying reptiles. Um, but again, people report seeing things like this, and particularly so down by the Texas-Mexico border. So one of the big questions or the intriguing issues is whether or not the things that people are seeing like this down on the Texas-Mexico border are actually the same things as the big birds that people report, but they're kind of getting confused. Maybe somebody's mistaken something like this for a big bird or vice versa, we just don't know. But I don't think it's coincidence that both of these sort of anomalous large creatures, flying creatures, are seen on the Texas-Mexico border. And again, there are some reports that suggest flesh and blood animals. There are others that are sort of have vague paranormal aspects to them. So again, it's whether or not these cases should fall under the domain of cryptozoology or they should be something for paranormal investigators to look into. But again, Ken Gerhard's got literally, he showed me once his, you know, all the case files he'd got. I mean, it's like, it may be in the hundreds now, it's certainly in the, you know, the many dozens. And um, Ken's investigated and interviewed a lot of these people. And, and again, they come across as highly credible. Um, but it, it's just the nature of the case. You know, you imagine driving down a, near the Texas border and you see something that looks just like a pterodactyl straight out of Jurassic Park or something like that, sort of soaring overhead. That's exactly what people are saying they're seeing.